How we doing, folks? And welcome, as always, to another episode of Sunshine Toys and Collectibles, Captain's Corner. How we doing today? Doing well? Hopefully you are. I am doing pretty good. It's a beautiful day, starting to show a little bit of signs of spring, but then again, not so much. So, sun was out at least, so we're not snowing. That's always a bonus. So hopefully it's nice wherever you're at. Happy to see you as always. Thank you again for checking in. We definitely appreciate it. If you like what you see, have to remind you, make sure you hit that like button. Always make sure you leave a comment if you leave something, you know, whatever you want, whatever you see in the video, anything behind me you see, make sure you leave a comment and tell us about it. And last but not least, if you'd like to see more of these videos, make sure you hit that subscribe bell, turn on all notifications and you'll know when you have new content coming from Sunshine Toys and Collectibles, Captain's Corner. So let's get into it. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we found. Okay. As you know, Mama is a huge Toy Story nut. So she's got some of her collection over this way. Uh, I can't fit it into the camera necessarily because of the way the office is set up. So I'll post some pictures. But she's got her little corner over there, which is her Disney, Pixar's, Toy Stories, Star Wars, Corner. Mostly Toy Stories. So, needless to say, anytime we find anything cool Toy Story related, we try to pick it up. Especially if it's reasonably priced. Price is always, you know, if you can find anything reasonably priced, you want to pick it up, right? So, we've uh, been looking for a couple of these items. Um... The one I, I didn't even really know existed, she knew a little bit about it apparently, but the one I knew for sure we wanted to get, and uh, you know, it was just one of those things that we, was a matter of time when we would find one. So the other day, uh, we get this massive snowstorm that was supposed to hit us, and it, it hit us, but we had the day off fortunately, and we went out before the storm hit, and we hit a couple of Goodwills, and we just happened to stumble across one of these now i don't know if you guys remember these or not this is from toy story 3 this is the fisher price chatter phone now i had one of these when i was a kid i i, I loved it I, I can remember playing with it this one even works too this is from 2009 version of it but this is from toy story 3 and julie's always wanted one of these and uh it was just a matter of time when we could find one. We wanted one that was a little bit kind of beat up, just like in the movie. And this one fits the bill. The eyes work. <laughs> it makes a noise. Now, it's not the official Toy Story version, which we want one of those too. But for the bargain price of $2, we figured we couldn't, uh, couldn't beat it. So we snagged this one. Again, the Fisher Price Chatter Phone from Toy Story 3. He's the one that uh, helps Woody escape from uh, Sunnyside Daycare. And uh, he's got a really cool part where he's telling him about, oh, you got to get past this guy and you got to get past those guys and you got you to gotta get past the monkey. And the monkey's one of those symbol clapping monkeys from back in the day. We got to get one of those too. Definitely on hunt for one of the old school symbol clapping monkeys. But I'll throw a picture of one of those in there for you too. But this was the coolest find for sure. Now... I don't know if you guys have ever seen a Ollie's or been to a Ollie's. It's it's uh, like a discount store where they, they buy up stuff that hasn't sold at other places and sell it there. Um, this, again, I didn't know existed, but apparently Julie had seen these before. This is the Toy Story Bo Peep lamp with a sheep. Now, this is an actual working lamp, which is pretty cool. This is made by the uh, Paladone Company. And as you can see, it's Pixar Toy Story licensed and looks just like Bo Peep. And this is the Toy Story 1, Toy Story 2 version of Bo Peep. Of course, she's blue in Toy Story 4. Uh, she's not in Toy Story 3, but this one here actually lights up. We're going to take this out of the box. We're going to light it up, and we're going to see exactly what this thing looks like. Does it look that good in the dark? Let's find out what this Toy Story Bo Peep lamp looks like. Let's go! All right, so cut, cut the tape there. Let's get this bad boy out. 
Again, I am Brian, one of your hosts, Sunshine Toys and Collectibles, Captain's Corner. We definitely appreciate you checking in. I've been talking a million miles an hour. I'm just so excited to finally get this thing open and out of the box. Julie keeps telling me, will you do your video so I can get this thing out and on my shelf already? So I'm doing the video already. So this thing is really cool. <laughs> wow. Hang on, bear with me, bear with me. Okay, all right. Hopefully I didn't show too much. Now it looks like it's two pieces, which is kind of cool. There you go. Of course, I'm gonna do a better job, put it together. Show her all put together, but this is fresh out of the box. But I think it's kind of neat that Bo is a separate piece because then you can kind of move her around and make her interact with your other figures if, you, if you're if you dorks like we are. Uh, and there's Billy Goat and Gruff. <laughs> this is so cool. So let me get this out of the plastic a little bit more and put it together and we'll light her up and see how she looks all lit up. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay, like... So like 10 minutes later, I finally get this thing out of the package. I mean, I I, I didn't realize it was going to be packed as well as it was. I'm kind of glad I stopped the camera because I would have had to fast forward through like a half hour of me wrestling with this package. So, wow. I couldn't be happier with this though. And, and Julie is going to absolutely love it. Now, this is the lamp. Mine is Bo, of course. This is Billy Goat and Gruff. And as you can see, they are on the lampshade as well. Very cute. This is an LED lamp. Um, one of those you got to plug in. Uh, get the little USB port there. It seems like most most uh, things are going to that. Um, kind of a pain, but very bright for the little bulbs that they give you. But as you can see, they've got the little designs on Billy Goat and Gruff just like they do in the movie again I mentioned this was officially licensed product so the accuracy it should be should be spot on and saved Bo for last and boom there you go there is Bo 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 now that's the Toy Story 1 version I would say She's in like the very first scene of Toy Story 1, and she is voiced by Annie Potts, of course. And I don't know if anybody remembers Annie Potts, uh, Pretty in Pink. She was in uh, Corvette Summer, I believe. Anybody remember Corvette Summer? Uh, Designing Women, I think Julie said, was another one. I don't remember that one, but uh, I definitely remember uh, Pretty in Pink. And Corvette Summer with Mark Hamill. Good movie, but really cool figure. And they did a great job. And they even did the bloomers. Not to be rude or anything, but look at look at the detail. And this was $12.99, I believe. It might have been $13.99. $13.99. But this was a swinging deal. And as you saw in the thumbnail, got all this for $13.99 and two dollars on the phone. So you're talking like 16 bucks for these. And these alone are going for like $30 to $130 on eBay. It's absolutely insane. Do not pay this. Look at Ollie's if you got one near you. And pretty sweet. So I'm going to get Bo in here. Let me see how she goes. How Bo goes. Now it looks like her feet just slide right in these little slots there. And just make sure she's in. Make sure it's in all the way so she doesn't fall off. And there you bo 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 bo. <laughs> She's pretty cool. And what do you think? This is, I believe, 2019 Paladone Toys. And I guess we can always light it up, right? What's it look like uh, all lit up? Let's find out. And there you go. There you are with the lights on. Bo 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 bo. You can't not really as bright as I thought, maybe. But for a night light, I guess you don't really want it too light, uh, too bright, do you? You know, a little subtle light off in the corner there. If you got a Toy Story fan in your 
in your life. So we definitely do. We are going to use this as a display. This won't be lit up at all, but I definitely like it. And uh, not disappointed at all. Let's turn the lights on. There we go. Lights back on. So what did you think? What was your favorite? Was it the chatter phone? <laughs> Get string out of the way. Was it the chatter phone? How many of you had one of these? I had one of these. How many of you had one of these? These go back a little bit, so I bet you a bunch of you had one of these. Let me know in the comments. And last but not least, what did you think of the bow nightlight? I really like it, and the missus really liked it too. So let us know what you thought in the comments. What was your favorite? Uh, Hope to show more of these types of things as we stumble across them. And if you'd like to see more of them in the, in the future, please hit that like button. Let us know that you enjoyed the video. Leave us a comment and let us know what you saw in the video that you did like. And last but not least, hit that subscribe button. Turn on all notifications and you'll know when you got new video coming from Sunshine Toys and Collectibles, Captain's Corner. I'm just kind of checking it out. Very cute. <laughs> Thank you so much again for coming, and uh, we definitely appreciate you checking in and watching these videos. We hope to see you again at the next one, Sunshine Toys and Collectibles, Captain's Corner. I'm Brian. Have a great week, folks, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.